Hey, this is David. All right, so you're moving to Northern Virginia and you're concerned about the high cost of living. I hear you. And you want me to share with you what I spend on a monthly and yearly basis? Well, that's kind of personal, but hey, why not? So I don't know if you know this, but we actually have a yearly car tax and I just sent a big fat check to Loudoun County for... In this week's video, I'll share with you my personal cost of living expenses for living right here in Northern Virginia. And make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so you can see exactly how much I just spent on my extremely high yearly car tax. And we're getting started right now. Hey everybody, it is David, your favorite realtor. You know it, it's another beautiful day right here in Northern Virginia. And if it's your first time here on my channel, please hit that subscribe button because every week I release videos what it's like to live, work, play, pros and cons, top neighborhoods, cost of living, basically everything that you need to know about living right here in Northern Virginia. It's time to get real personal in this video. So on a daily basis, I get calls from folks just like you who are relocating in Northern Virginia and one of the biggest concerns is the high cost of living. And you know what? It's a very valid concern as Northern Virginia has some of the highest cost anywhere in the country. So I'm gonna share with you exactly what my personal costs are. And hopefully this will give you a good baseline of kind of what you can expect in terms of cost of living here in Northern Virginia. So in this video, I'm not gonna talk about how much I spend on like Hulu, Netflix, what my car payment is or what my cell phone payment is, because if I move to Florida tomorrow, those payments are gonna be exactly the same. In this video, we're gonna only gonna talk about specific cost of living right here in Northern Virginia. So let's get it started right now with my cost of housing. So I own a townhouse style condo in Ashburn, Virginia. It's gonna be a three bedrooms, three bath, about 2,500 square feet. And I bought it in April of 2022 for $665,000. So my home is actually gonna be $20,000 less expensive compared to the medium sales price of a home in Ashburn, Virginia. I also have an interest rate of 3.25%. And what does that come out to monthly? So my principal and interest payment comes out to $2,748 a month. Now we will say this, I'm very fortunate and grateful that I actually have a 3.25% interest rate. If I had today's interest rates, which is almost as high as 7%, my monthly payment would be anywhere from 800, probably to like $900 more expensive per month. Next, we're gonna have property taxes. I personally pay about $567 per month. And the tax rate here in Loudoun County on average is about 89 cents per $100 of assessed value. So it's really not that bad, especially compared to other parts of the country. In fact, I just had a family relocate here from New Jersey and they told me that their tax rate was 2.68%. That is ridiculous. So if I take their tax rate on my house, that means my tax payment would be $1,485 per month. No way, no how. I'll stick with Loudoun County's tax rate of 89 cents per $100 of assessed value. Next, you have homeowner's insurance, and I pay $41 per month. Now, I've had a single family home. That monthly payment would be a lot higher, but they charge a lot less when you have a condo. Now, this I did not know. I was talking to my insurance guy, and he told me this. Hey, David, if you had a house like in Florida or Texas, your homeowner's insurance could be as high as four times the amount that you're currently paying because they have a lot of bad weather there, like hurricanes, hailstorms, things like that that can cause a lot of damage to your home. Then, I have a condo fee. My condo fee here is about $242 per month. What do I get for that? Well, really not much. I don't have any amenities like a pool or gym to use. It does take care of my water bill. So that's one less bill I do have to worry about. It also takes care of my trash and recycling. And then it takes care of common ground maintenance. So I don't have to worry about any exterior maintenance. I don't have to cut grass or anything like that. So when you add my principal, interest, taxes, insurance, and my condo fee all together for my housing, the total number comes out to $3,600 per month. Now let's talk about my utilities. So I mentioned earlier, the condo fee takes care of my water bill, so I don't have to worry about a water bill. But if I did, it probably would come out to about $40 per month. Next is gas. Now, unfortunately, my house is only electric. I wish I had gas, because cooking on an electric cooktop, it is not the best, it is the worst, actually. So I don't have a gas bill, but if I did, it'd probably be anywhere from $50 to $80 per month, depending on the time of year. So that's two less bills I do have to worry about, but I do have electricity. In the past three months, on average, my electric bill has come out to about $152 per month. Now my electric bill actually could be a lot lower, but I do have a Tesla that I charge at home. 
So I gotta imagine if I didn't charge my Tesla at home, my electric bill would probably only be about $100 per month. Next, you got cable and internet, and I personally use Verizon Fios, and that comes out to about $150 per month. Now, I don't have like Showtime or HBO or anything like that, so I pretty much have the basic cable package. And really, I don't even really watch TV. The main reason I even have cable personally is so I can watch football and basketball games, because I just don't like watching those on streaming services. So that's the main reason why I personally have cable. So all my utilities combined comes out to $306 per month. So now my final total cost for housing only comes out to $3,906 per month. Now let's talk about gas. So my household does not spend a lot of money on gas. Me, I spend zero because like I said earlier, I have a Tesla, so I charge 100% from home. And then my wife, she has an Audi A3 2016 regular car. So, but she does not drive a lot. So she only fills up her tank about twice per month. And at our current gas prices of $3.79 per gallon, she spends about a $100 per month on gas. Now for my second biggest monthly expense, and that's gonna be food. And I love me some food. So when I say food, I'm talking about groceries, I'm talking about takeout food, delivery food, and sit down restaurants. So currently my household is just two, the wife and I, for now, hint, hint. So I was shocked when I saw this number. I like to eat good, but I know I like to eat this good. So I took the average of what we spent in the past three months, and that number came out to $1,872 per month just on food. So yes, this number is extremely high, and it can be way lower for you. We just do a lot of takeout food. And I'll say of that $1,872 per month, I would say it's probably 50-50. 50% on groceries, and other 50% on takeout, delivery, and sit-down restaurants. Also, I can say this, inflation has hit Ashford really hard, especially when it comes to food, because this number would have been a lot lower this time last year. So everything's a lot more expensive now, but you know what, it is what it is, because I love to eat good, and eating good is a top priority for me. Next is gonna be car insurance. So we have two cars, like I mentioned, uh, 2021 Tesla Model 3 and a 2016 Audi A3, and combined, we pay $1,400 per year, which is not bad at all. I'll tell you a story. My first really nice car was in 2015. It was a 2015 Mercedes C-Class. And at that time, I didn't have the best credit. I had a bad driving record, uh, accident, speeding ticket. And my insurance by myself for one car was $250 per month. But now six years later, I'm way more responsible. And the fact that we have two cars for only basically $115 a month, I will definitely take that any day of the week. Now this I did not know, and this is why it's in this video is, car insurance in Virginia is a lot less expensive compared to other parts of the country, especially like Maryland or Washington DC. My insurance guy told me, hey David, if you lived in Maryland, your insurance would literally be eight to $1,000 more per year. Another reason I love doing videos like this, because I learned myself, so this I did not know, and now you know, car insurance and homeowner's insurance is actually a lot less expensive here in Virginia compared to other parts of the country. Next, we have toll roads. There are toll roads basically all over Northern Virginia. They're kind of unavoidable. I mean, you can if you want. In fact, my wife, 000 will go on a toll road no matter what. In fact, when I go on it and she's in the car with me, she gets mad at me, but I do go on a toll. Me, I value time over money. So if, if I could save five minutes just to get to my destination, I am taking the toll, but I don't go on the toll every day. So I looked the past three to four months, I'm spending about $42 per month on tolls. Next, we have everybody's least favorite thing about living in Virginia, including mine, the yearly car tax. I hate it, you're gonna hate it. In fact, I think Virginia has the highest car tax in the country, which is not fun. So every October I get a nice bill in the mail, which I dread big time. And this year I had to pay $1,852 for my car. It was not a fun check to write. And just so you know how the car tax works, you pay $4.20 per hundred dollars of assessed value of your car. Again, just hands down, one of my least favorite parts about living in Virginia is the car tax. So that takes my total current living expenses for here in Northern Virginia for a family of two, currently, hint, hint. That number comes out to $5,941 per month. Now, is that a high number? Mm, yeah, it is. I can definitely get that number a lot lower, but I can easily get it a lot higher as well. And your number is gonna be way different than my number. Also keep in mind in this video, I did not count my car payment, my cell phone bill, all the money I spend on my real estate business, all the money I spend making YouTube videos. So my monthly cost of living expenses is gonna be a little bit higher compared to what I said in this video. So like I said, keep that in mind. And if you wanna talk more about cost of living here in Northern Virginia, you know, reach out to me. 
Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Just know I got your back when you're moving to Northern Virginia. And if you want to learn more about living right here in Northern Virginia, check out these videos right here. They can be great resources for you. And I'll see you on the next video.